What are you doing? Being a pirate. You sure? I think this is pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? I think I'm ready. I'm a pirate. Not yet. Are it be the Deathly Hallows for ya? Oh. oh. I'm gonna take some of that. This is your fantasy, isn't it? It is. God. Close your eyes. Oh, okay. Okay, look at me. Uh, you can open your eyes, just yeah, blink them a little bit. <laughs> Everything's dark. Yeah, just keep blinking. I'm just keep blinking. What do you say blinking? Can you say blinking? Blinking. <laughs> I don't like any of that. Just try not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I look like Brett Michaels. Who wore it better? Must be the curse. <laughs> so we've been doing a bit of a Pirates of the Caribbean marathon over the past few days, and we are just finishing up on the third of the original trilogy. To celebrate that, we decided to make a drink video of the grog, which is what we are sipping on right now. We'll be really explaining like the, the history behind the grog and um, what goes into making it. We're going to enjoy drinking these grogs and watch Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Yar. So Alex made us a wonderful dinner of jerk tofu and mango and rice and some greens on the bottom. Uh, but we're now sat down and ready to watch the last Pirates of the Caribbean movie of the trilogy. They're changing the windows in our apartment, and so we have to basically be out of the apartment and find something to do all day long. So where are we? We are at the Avalon Cafe. We're gonna have some coffee and some vegan pizza. How's that 9 a.m. pizza? It works. We just finished grocery shopping, which took like an hour. Now we have about maybe four and a half hours to kill. We're just sitting in a Meyer parking lot trying to figure out what to do with our lives. We're not used to like being outside of the house very much lately. So it's like uh, trying to find things to do in the outside world 
when everything is kind of closed <laughs> for four more hours. What do we do? Kaylee suggested laser tag. Laser tag, escape rooms, go seeing a movie. All not COVID friendly activities. Yeah, I mean, what do you do in the outside world? It's weird. hard getting you out of there. What did you find? I found this record, Eartha Kit. I've got Moon River on here and Girl from Infinema. I got this scarf, this little vintage head scarf for St. Patrick's Day. It won't look like this. And then I got, oh my gosh, this 50s nightgown set, the nightgown and the robe, and it's gorgeous like I'm a, I'm so obsessed with it like oh it's just beautiful and it's like in really good condition now you can do your best impression of Midge Basil yes I can what'd you get I got uh best of the Statler brothers I don't know what the rest of this album is going to be like but it's got flowers on the wall on there and we do that song and it's one of our favorites to play so it was only four dollars and we got a uh, Peter Paul and Mary album and that has a few songs that we do, so it's exciting. I think this might have been the first, but I'm not positive. 1962, so. Now we're down to, uh, what, three hours and 23 minutes left to kill. All right, well, we'll have to keep searching for more things to do. We found an all-vegan bakery in Ferndale that just opened this past month, like in February. Um, it's called Sugar Buzz, so we got... What did we get? So we each got a cappuccino, it's tiramisu, mm -hmm. apple fritter, and then your thing, my thing, chocolate cake. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> the cappuccinos are really good. I had my first sip and I approve. It looks really good. Apple fritter time. Looks like pieces of apple and pieces of fritter. Wow. You know what I need is a fork. When you go to a restaurant and you taste something really good, you gotta take a bite. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. It's very moist. It looks very decadent. Something. Mm -hmm. Point to it with your fork, that's how you know it's good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh boy. I haven't had this since I worked at Olive Garden, but I'm sure this is probably better than Olive Garden's tiramisu. <laughs> Gotta get down to get to those lady fingers. That's a weird sentence. We made it home. And we now have new windows. They look a lot like the old windows. Except they took out our air conditioner to be more energy efficient, which I guess removing an air conditioner would make the windows more energy efficient. Anyway, that was a full day adventure. Um, we woke up at like, what, seven? Seven. seven. Which seven. for us is early. We have still musician schedules, so. We're <laughs> gonna be having to put all of the plants and everything back against the windows. We have to sanitize our groceries and then cook dinner and then do some practicing tonight. So we still have a lot of work to go, but today was pretty fun. 
So thanks for tuning in. We will see you next week.